Well, we're heading out now to uh, finish off the program to pull the traps out this morning. So, good old girl. What are you dogs doing? Please come for a run. Sit, sit, sit. Waylon. Dash. Skunk. Skunk. Sit, Robbie. Sit, Robbie. Robbie, sit. Robbie, sit. Oh, you're in trouble. That's what he is. He is something special. It's a uh, sad time when you come around, you pull your traps out. You've gone to all that trouble of putting them in, and uh, yeah, you've got to pull them out. But usually, where you've had a spot where there's been lots of tracks, and you put a trap in there and you haven't caught a dog, but the tracks have disappeared, usually that's the dog that you caught over the hill or you know, in the next gully somewhere and it was coming around that way. So it's still done its job. It's been part of the network that you've put out to control those dogs, and you've had success. Skunk, that's how you teach your dogs. Now he said, I don't want to come anywhere near it. He doesn't want to come anywhere near it, do you? Because you know. <laughs> he jumped back in the truck. When I point to the ground, he just goes, oh no, there's no one of those steel things. And when you see how fast that your own dog learns what a trap is, you realise that you've got, if you've got a wild dog out there and it sees two or three of its mates get caught with something steel that snaps up out of the ground, um, doesn't take long for them to work out if there's any scent at all on the ground, if there's any disturbance, if they even think, you know, they've got a feeling that there's something wrong there they won't go that extra step to be caught. And that's what you end up with. So with that in mind, then that's how you set your traps up. You've got to be that jump ahead to say, right, if I've got a dog here that's, that's getting really wise, really trap shy, uh, you've got to then try and fool that dog. You want to get another dingo, do you? Yeah. Oh, righto. It's terrible when you drive along talking to your dog miss you Judy. Judy's great to have along with you because she drives, I get to open the gates and uh, skunk, he goes in the back. Okay, well, this is cleaning up after night 14. So it's been a big, long um, project. I think there'll be another one or two today, the way it's looking. Um, tough dogs, yeah, tough dogs. Could have been a lot more. I think there's about another six or eight dogs on this uh, trap line that we haven't been able to get. But uh, we'll probably give them a bit of time and come back in a uh, in maybe six months' time and uh, see what's about then. This will give you a bit of scope of the uh, area that we're working here at the moment, the vastness of it. If you look out here you see the big range right out there we go right over to the base of that range and up into the edge of it right around there as far as you can see in the distance out there we're only about three or four kilometers away from the boundary over here but the other side boundary is this big range over here and back around behind us so there's a lot of country there that a dog can be running in and uh, yeah, they will move big distances, these animals, when they're hunting around, they do big circuits. Some people say they do a seven day circuit. Some people say they do three week circuit. Um, some of them stay in the same area and they only do a small area. Uh, what I'm finding here is the pack seem to be going from one big cow calving area to the other big calving area. 
they're working between there, they're picking up after birth and that off the ground. Uh, they'll be preying on any weak calves or any um, dead ones at the moment. But once they get used to eating calves and, and uh, calf matter and calf poo, then that will attract them then to start killing calves later on, especially as the young pups come up with their mothers and uh, and start moving around. Look what we got here. What are you doing? Getting the sun. Green tree snake. How pretty are you? Cool snake, they really are. Skunk, they look so worried. Who's a dwack at them, eh? Don't worry. There'd be a lot of people that would come out in this country and see it as harsh and dry and ugly. And uh, it's far from that. This is country that's full of beauty, full of wildlife. It is just a pleasure to be out in a lot of this country. It's great to see the wild dog in this country, the true wild dog. It's great to see that purebred dingo. And uh, in many ways, I just love to see them with their numbers under control and uh, just living here as part of the, the whole ecosystem alongside the cattle. You know, or maybe better put, us being able to live alongside them and uh, everybody getting on. So, in many ways, we've got to get rid of a lot of these crossbred dogs. And, uh, yeah, I just hope that we're helping a little bit in that whole overall scheme. Skunk is keen, aren't ya? Come here, this is where this one was caught. And, I don't know, yeah, it's been... Birds have scratched that. We've got a dog track right there, right there. Edge of the pan is there, the track is right next to it, and we've had birds all over it and scratched it out. What a pity. Unfortunately, that's a miss, uh, but that's what you get, especially when you catch a, a dog. The crows know, they see the disturbed ground, and uh, they get in here and they get over everything and uh, pack away and scratch away. Pigeons get in here as well. Uh, missed it. It's going back here, back in the truck. You get some bling on your foot, quick. Robbie, stop being a moron, Robbie. You don't have to get that close to the action, Rob. No fresh tracks at all, at least at, on this part of the line. Uh, yeah, let's check the next ones. Let's have a look. Sit, skunk. Sit. Okay, we've had a dog come back here. See the fresh mark here, and the dog's been there, and it's scratched and scratched, but it hasn't committed. It has not come in. It hasn't walked through. The birds have been here, and the birds have slightly uncovered that pan of the trap. Give you an idea how cunning this dog is. Sit skunk, sit. Okay, it's come to here. It's come to there. That's my prints over there that I've made. And it hasn't stepped. That's mine. But that's the dog there. That's mine. There's a dog there. It hasn't gone through. Unfortunately, we've had a pig through here, a wild pig through last night. Just been digging up down the gully down here. And stood on top of that edge of that trap, didn't set it off. Just walked over and done the same thing there, stood on the edge of that one, didn't set it off. It really wasn't what we needed here because what that's done is just presented those traps for the dog. And the dog has come along afterwards. And uh, yeah, he's been able to see the traps half exposed. Not good. Very interesting this morning. There seems to be only one dog left in this pack that's 
either one dog left or one dog has stayed around and it's been tracking up and down the centre road but uh, won't commit to any trap at all. It just keeps right on the uh, on the tyre mark. This is where we got the first two dogs yesterday. It's usually where you'll catch a dog one day. Usually you'll catch another one if they come back past. Oh yes, we got a dog. Alright, oh, let's get this one shot. Number 19, boys, well done. Nothing succeeds like success. Very mangy, very mangy dog. I wouldn't want my guys around this one at all because they can catch that psychoptic mange. Um, yeah, another bitch. So that's a predominance of bitches in this area. Great stuff. Hind foot catch with a uh, with a uh, Victor actually. It's only been this morning. I think I've heard a cup of tea. Yep. Great stuff. What do you reckon, Blakes? Could be some more up here, eh? Well, we will see. It's been a solid two weeks of trapping. Uh, we're cleaning up after our 14th night and uh, 19 dogs caught. I thought we'd get another one. I thought we would have got our 20th dog today, but we came close. There was probably two different places that a dog stood within, like you know, a couple of centimeters of the pan of the trap. Uh, still a really good run. Uh, that's um, four male dogs and 15 uh, females and seven of those have got like growing litters of pups out here somewhere so there's still a lot of dogs to come down here especially once it gets if it stays dry during summer spring and summer um, yeah the problem's not over